as hard as this might be to believe with what you could see in that one stroke. So it's really strong depth. You put particular pressure, unless I could be wrong with the rest of the writing, I was looking at depth. That's the, the pen pressure, right? So nothing in handwriting is accident. It's everything is, it's what lies beneath the surface. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't lie when it comes to handwriting. Not that you would, it's, it's a reflection mm -hmm. of what, how you're showing up in the world. That level of pressure might represent that you'll forgive, but you won't forget when it comes to your past. So based on challenges that you've dealt with connected to your last name. So it doesn't necessarily mean there was someone in your immediate past who did something to you. It just means that growing up, you experienced pain or trauma or difficulties, and you do not forget what happened, but you've reframed those as you've moved on. So you feel things deeply. You are a person that I would say still waters run deep, that whatever you show on the surface, you have layers and layers that only people who you really trust will really get to know, and that you're not an open book with that because you've learned over time to take time and trust before you truly show your full vulnerable self. But yet, that level of pressure and depth shows that you have the ability to empathize as we've been talking about, but your empathy is to the point where you have the ability to feel what other people are feeling because of that depth of pressure, because of what's happened to you, but yet you're an objective thinker. So you have this paradox and, and people are paradoxical so that you will look at someone else's problems or challenges, but you'll be able to cut through the BS mm -hmm and help them with just enough compassion and empathy that goes right on the border of, I'm gonna help you, but I'm also not going to get so wrapped up in your stuff that I can't see with a clear field as to what is going on. So a metaphor would be, you can, if, if we were in a, a, a nightclub, you could look at from the DJ's booth, looking down and looking down and seeing the person on the dance floor going through their day to day and get, getting in their own head. And then you could actually come down from the DJ booth stand beside them and say, hey, I can help you on this level, but I'm also seeing from this view from the balcony and having the ability to move back and forth with a level of depth that most people never get to. It's pretty mind-boggling how you figured all that out. That's crazy. That's, I mean, that's insane, dude. I mean, all of that, 100%. And you know, the one thing that I have that used to be a much bigger issue for me, which isn't as much now, is that uh, getting too involved in people's lives, you know? And you know, what I've learned from myself and with dealing with other people is a lot of times when we experience pain and trauma, as a child and don't really have a love and self-acceptance, number one, it's very painful for us to go and deal with it. Number two, it's a lot easier to go find somebody else to help and feel good about that than trying to work on our own stuff. 